Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Pat, and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions. And guys, I finished off all the hyena bones off camera, and a time lapse should pop up right about now. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. I figured that was the best way to do it because it would have been so boring to watch me do it for like 15 minutes straight. So I turned it into a time lapse. I figured if I didn't, people would think I cheated them in and I didn't really want people to think that anyway. All right, so Rafiki, I've done it. I hope you're happy. You look not that happy, but take them. Here you go. If you want one again, bring me another stack of hyena bones. I'm never doing that again. It, it took too long. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I hear Scar has returned to the Pride Lands, and he has trapped our king in the Star Realm. You must find Scar and kill him. My stick is the only weapon that can harm him. Anything else to say? My stick is the only weapon. I know, you just said that. Okay, okay, that's all you have to say? I thought you might tell me something. Oh, I think Scar is in a cave somewhere nearby. So, guys, I was, you know, kind of trying to organize myself a bit, and I cooked a lot of zebra chop. You can eat this on our journey. And I've got these hyena heads. I want to put them up. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe over here. It's like a beautiful view of the land. I know it's supposed to go this way, which actually makes this place really dangerous. I've noticed like hyenas keep jumping off this hill and attacking me in my home. It's wrong. But yeah, I got two of these. And all, after all the rare spawns I killed, this is what I got. I got a chain helmet, respiration one, chain boots, projectile protection three. I did get a diamond shovel efficiency too, so I got a couple cool things. Nothing like amazing. Gear wise, definitely nothing amazing. Didn't even get an iron piece. I'm gonna get a lot of like diamond stuff. But yeah, let me toss these in here. Oh, and I need another sword. I, I'm like, I'm running out of swords. All right, so luckily we've got our workbench backpack here. Make ourselves a second pride stone sword. Oh, you know what? We can try. I don't know if this is gonna work though. I can take the stick, put it in there. No. Not compatible. So I'm prob... Actually, you know what? This is actually really good. Maybe I should fight with the diamond axe. I'm probably not going to cut down that many trees anyway. And put that there. That's going to be perfect. And the shovel there. Because we're going to be going down into the earth, guys. I looked a lot of this stuff up because I was like, where the hell do we find Scar? <laughs> and this is what it said. It's very, very vague. Apparently, he spawns like randomly between X, negative 80 and 80, and Z, negative 80 and 80, and the Y is 20 to 30. So basically, he is on the bottom of the world, pretty much underneath this tree, kind of. That'd be a good idea to just dig for... We could just... Nah, let's, let's look around for a cave. I totally forgot that I did not have Reyna and jumped right off. Alright, maybe, you know, maybe I should switch to Reyna. I'm too dangerous to that her. I think I've used her so much in this series that I kind of just think she's on me all the time. And I tend to just jump all over the place. Luckily, we have a ton of health. So around here somewhere, I probably should keep this open. Can't stray too far from this area. How much does this stick do anyway? Five attack damage. It's not too bad, actually. It's pretty good for a stick. It's the only thing that affects Scar. Let me just eat here so I can get my health back up. After that really, really sad jump off the tree. 
All right, so I want to test this out. Gemsbok, I'm gonna skill you. And yeah, the durability on it, it does have durability. I was just checking to see if it did. So um, apparently, if I break this on the way, which would be horrible, I won't let that happen. I'm not gonna fight with it just because of that. I would need another 64 bones to get a new one. I feel like he should give you a discount the second time, maybe like 32 or something. 64 takes a long time. It's like a couple nights of fighting. I'm just gonna grab this while we're here. And then we'll try to find some kind of cave. You guys, I don't think there's a specific cave. I think you kind of just, you know, go down to the earth or something and look for it. So we'll see. We'll see. Let me climb up here. Open this up. And make sure we stay in the right area. There's got to be a cave around here somewhere. Honestly, I don't remember a lot of caves when we were looking around. Like, I don't really remember seeing a lot. I kind of see, um... This could be a cave. Possibly. So many animals around. I think it's just water, actually. No, that's not a cave. Thought it might connect to one or something. Oh, guys, I think I see something. I think I see an NPC. I think it's Timon and Pumbaa. I think we found them. They're actually really close to the tree. That's awesome. Where's the tree exactly? It's right over there. We found them. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Are you near? Do you know where Scar is by any chance? If I talk to you. Hello? Can I talk to you with this? Okay, definitely not going to talk to you with that. Going to hit you with it. Hey, Pumbaa, who's this? Got some story going on? Going to say anything else? I don't know. Do you think we can eat him? Don't don't eat me. I'm bigger than you are. How are you going to eat me? Of course we can't eat him, you idiot. Lie down before you hurt yourself. Oh, man. Although, now that you mention it... Did he just fart? Pumbaa? Are you very hungry? Kid, we're really hungry. Do you think you could find us something to eat? Pumba, that's an awful idea. It'll never work. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry just thinking about this. Wait a minute. I've got a great idea. You, you there. Do you think you could find us something to eat? Our favorite food is bugs, especially those stripy blue ones that hide under logs. Stop it, Pumba. You're making my mouth water. Anyway, you there. If you bring us some bugs to eat, I might have some things to offer you in return. I actually think these are the guys that give you the animals, animal speak amulet, which makes you speak to, like, um, zebras, giraffes, and stuff like that. Can I talk to you about it right now? Stop staring at me. Bring me some bugs. So, yeah, there's logs in this dimension, um, you know, laying on the ground. Let's see if there's any around. I have bugs under them. I don't want to get too distracted because we're actually in the middle of, like, a quest right now. If you know what I mean? It's almost night, too. Probably want to get down into a cave as soon as possible here. All right, so what I'm going to do is set a waypoint to these guys. That way we can get back here really easily. All right, so Jamon and boom, but I think it's two A's. I think so. Don't want to insult you, bro. All right, so yeah, we'll come back here because I don't have anything on me right now. And we got to find a cave. It's night. I don't want to fight any more hyenas. Don't make me do it. Let's see. So this is the general direction. I think I have an idea. It might be good. It might be really bad. I'm thinking going right next to the tree, at least close to it. Like, right at the middle of the world. It's right here, right? And just digging straight down. Because if we do that, we can probably get to him quick. Because he's probably near the center, I would think, right? Alright, I'm, I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it. I think this is genius. It's like the worst idea ever. We're going straight down. Digging into the world. We're going to find you, Scar. And kill you. Really hope this works. If this doesn't work, we're going to end out like in the middle of nowhere, like so lost. Got to be down here somewhere. Okay, so what I'm hoping actually, this is what I plan to happen, is to run into a cave really soon, find some awesome, you know, ore, and get cool armor to fight him with before we actually find him. Because who knows if this is going to work or not. All right, so let me put up some torches. It's freaking dark. All right, there we go. There's some coal. Some coal down here. Ooh, I found a cave. That was beast. I found a cave really quick. Just jump in. All right, all right. Let's see. Direction. Yeah, we're right at the middle of the world right now, guys. I think it would just be deeper is the only thing. I don't want to go up. Don't make me rise. I need to go further down. This is like nothing. Look at this cave. It doesn't even lead anywhere. It's just like one really pathetic cave. Got a little coal. 
I don't really care too much for the coal. I might grab a little bit, just for fun, but... You know, we got some coal already, and I'm not gonna need that much, only a little, really. I'm thinking we can actually toss down a teleporter down here when we're done, and just teleport back off. That would be pretty awesome, actually. And hopefully it'll be daytime when that happens. Because I don't want to fight any more hyenas. Which is probably what the caves are going to be filled with anyway. Oh, and guys, if you're curious about, like, what's down in the caves in this dimension, there should be, um, hyena dungeons. We'll probably see one eventually, I would think. I don't really know for sure, but I'm kind of hoping for it. Grab all this. Alright, so should we just go down deeper here? We're right in the middle of the world. We can't miss him. He's got to be somewhere down here. Plus, I'm going to get, like, a ton of pride stone, probably. Here, water. I'm trying to look at the mini-map here. And see if I can actually see anything of importance. I can take this off. I think we're going the right way here. Go down deep into the world. I'm just going to try to keep it, like, nice and bright. And if this takes too long, I'm going to do a little bit of editing. Probably just get rid of me uh, digging. Because I'm thinking we can find a cave really soon. And I don't want to dig straight down and fall in lava. Because I tend to have that kind of luck. So, guys, I'm getting really close. I can see his name tag right there. Plus, I can see him on the mini-map. And this isn't exactly how I was hoping to find him, obviously. <laughs> I wanted to find a cave and get some ore. Might have to do that after instead. But, um, really, the purpose was to get some gear, like some armor. But, might have to fight him with what we got right now. We gotta be so freaking close. He's, he's like, right behind the freaking wall. Scar, please don't hurt me when I find you. I swear, he's going to be right in our face when we get to him. Oh, I found his cave. Found his cave. Let's just see here. Oh, there he is. Okay, not a rare spawn. That's probably a good sign. All right, guys. Strategy. We need a strategy if we want to win this. He's a boss. I hear he's actually kind of hard. So, let's see here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put food next to this. And blocks next to that. In case, you know, we need to, like... Throw blocks in front of ourselves to block the evil dude. You, sh you sure you want to fight? Let's see. Alright, so... We need to get down here. We need to fight him. He looks real scary. There he is. How's it going? Why do you look so angry? Alright. Okay, so, um... Oh, I have a good idea. I have a brilliant idea, actually, guys. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use one up. Give you full health before dying once. Need to unlock again after. Unlock and equip. Mushroom. Mario's mushroom for the win. It's going to be perfect. Alright, so I want like a pretty good way down. I don't want to just jump down and not know it's there. I want to make my own way to him here. There's not a lot of room for fighting in this cave. It's very small actually. What's going on, bro? What's what's going on? Hello? Okay. Let's fight. Oh! Oh, you can't make it up here. You're too stupid. Oh, getting hits off. Getting hits off. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You think you can fight me and live? I don't know. You think you can fight me and live? Same to you. Back at ya. What are you gonna do? Too slow? Too slow, Scar? You seem kind of slow, actually. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Hyenas, don't do rare ones, please. That's cheating. No rares allowed. There's a lot of hyenas. I'm using everything I can to my advantage here, guys. He hits like a beast, doesn't he? Everything we can to our advantage in this fight, we have to. Honestly, though, he doesn't seem that intelligent. Like, look. Owning you. What you gotta do. Okay, you can do that, but... Oh, fire, fire, fire. Oh, God. Um, come back here. He's like, he's like killing his own minions. I see a rare one. Alright, let's let them burn a little bit. 40. 34. The hyenas are crazy. Is that 28 here? There are so many hyenas. I, oh, okay. Let's eat. This is why I gave myself food. I think even after he dies, it's going to be a struggle to like finish off all the hyenas. Oh, he's dead. Yes, I knew you could st save the pride, pride lands from that villain. Now quickly return to my tree. We have no time to lose. He's dead. We did it. We used this to our advantage. I think we had to. We didn't really have much in the way of gear. 
and he died. Wow, I felt like it was like evil Minecraft all over again. The dude hit for like two and a half hearts in one hit, which is a lot. I feel like if we went down, I would have died in like three, in like four hits. I have a lot of health. Dude is powerful. What do we get anyway? Um, lion chops. Oh, we got a scar rug. Cool. Anything else? I hate like going through my inventory and missing stuff. Um, let's see. Can I use this thing or just put it down to decorate the home? I think we did it, guys. I don't really want to leave is the problem here. I have ran out of torches. All right, let me make a couple more. So he is dead. We took him out. I'm just glad he's dead. All right, so we need to do a little bit of mining. I mean, there's got to be some ores here. We can't do the enchanting unless we get the peacock ore in. I don't really see any. I think I see something right there. Damn you. You broke on me. All right, so I believe I have um, more sticks in my backpack. Wow, that went good. We survived. The quest complete. I'm sure there's more we have to do, obviously, though. Let me grab this. Put all this stuff in here. I am so glad for the workbench backpack. All right, so let's make a couple more sticks here. And let's turn it into another pickaxe. We need to get some better stuff. If I'm going to be down in a cave... I'm definitely going to get something. I can't just not get anything down here. All right. So I see what looks to be ore. Give me. Give me. Damn you, water. It's really dark in here. The mushroom is still alive in case something bad happens. <laughs> you never know. I hate trying to dig through water. It takes forever. All right. So did I get both there? I got two silver ore. And it looks like there's some kind of cave system. I had the weirdest way of finding this boss ever. I just dug straight to him. I came out right next to his face. All right, let's see. What's that like, green, like, sparkly thing in the distance? It moves when I move. It's weird. All right, more silver ore. I'm going to get as much as we can because I know it's for a lot of the crafting recipes and stuff. And we're already in a cave. We got to do this. By the way, I didn't know the hyenas would die after I killed him. Probably a good thing. He spawned a rare one. That makes it so much harder. The rare stuff, like, one horrible rare spawn of something could totally annihilate you. How much did I get? I got four. This is... I need more than this. He's in a cave that connects to nothing, isn't he? Or does it go the other way? Does your cave connect nowhere? Let's see. Alright, so of course there's coal. This is where we came from. Here. Steal his blocks. These are actually um, nice blocks. But of course, I'm pretty sure they make out of these like materials right here. And yeah, he actually spawned in a cave that was connected to nothing. So the only way to actually get here is, is the way we came from. It really is. <laughs> this, there was no way to get here other than the way we came. Why must he spawn like that? So yeah, guys, there really isn't much here to see. So it looks like we are gonna. This is where we. This is where we killed Scar. What the? What do we call this? Horrible cave. Okay, there we go. Horrible cave, and we can get out of here really quick because it would take me a while to get out of here. I can feel the magic. All right, so didn't I um set one at Rafiki's house? A oh, new home. That's what I called it. We're back. I made it. What's going on? I know that's like a, that's like how we talk. He's like he yells at me. I say hi. It's it's, it's what we do. Um, Asante, Sa what language are we speaking right now? Asante, Sanya, squash, banana, wee wee, nuku, mimi, hapana. This portal will take you to the outlands. I want you to go there, collect four termite. Damn you, quick talker. Four termites and grind them up. May Mufasa guide you in that dreadful place. Did you just? Oh, oh, that's cool. There's the portal to the next dimension. Ooh, nice one. I killed the boss, and apparently we're heading to a next dimension next time, guys. <laughs> Might as well do the Fanchion winners right now. They were Jessica Longley, Eric Zhu, Kevin Gonda, and I Merck. So congrats to all of you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for another video.